in lab B, we have a C-arm unit. Buttonology still remains the same as other rooms. We have a button with an arrow up or an arrow down. If you press on those, it will move the unit fully up or you may move the unit down. It does have limitations as it has a field so it will not touch the floor. If you want to angle the unit, then you would select the angle button. If you try to angle, you'll notice the button is just blinking and doing nothing. The unit is too close to the floor. You must bring the unit up and then you may electronically angle the tube in either direction. There is a button on both sides and it will zero out. For source image receptor distance, we are currently at 40 inches. We have a plus and a minus button. If we want to increase SID, we are now at 44.8 inches. So you may select the SID of choice, however, it will lock in at 40 inches in this position. We are now going to move into the upright position. We're going to activate this button right here. You must hold it down. Notice that the tube moves up. You must hold it completely until it reaches its vertical position and locks into place for use. We are at 70 inches. If you're doing a chest, you want to be at 72 inches, so we want to increase SID to 72 inches. Now we are ready to do a chest image for SID. The collimator has adjustments to control the size of the image. This is in centimeters. If we're doing a chest image it would be large. Right now I have it set for a 24 by 30 if we look at the image receptor, it is larger than the 17 by 17. That is not something that we want to do, so we would want to close the collimators to incorporate just the image receptor. A lot of practices mean that the imaging field is always smaller than the image receptor. On the image receptor, we have another group of buttons, and these are for convenience as they do the same as those on the top of the tube. We have a reset button. We have a turtle, which will move in slower increments. We can change from an upright position to a table position. We can angle. We can change the height of the unit for the height of the patient. We could increase or decrease the SID if necessary. And we can do simple angles, which we'll get into later in your training. So this is for the upright chest positioning. Now, I want to go to the table position. So I am going to select the table button, hold it down, and the unit will automatically rotate and prepare for a 40 inch SID. Continue to hold until everything is in place. The LCD now reads under table 
at 40 inches and the light is activated to tell you that everything is in alignment. This tube, because of its electronic motor and because you may put things underneath, does have a bumper. This bumper, if activated or hit, will in fact cause the button to activate and you will read bump. To alleviate that problem, just press the button for reset. For room B, the table is not attached and it is a free floating. At the end, on both ends, we have locks and swivels so that we can lock the table when we're trying to get the patient on. And this locks it so that it's safe for the patient. You would want to get your patient on and you could lower the table by using the handheld release. You must release and activate for the table to move in the downward position. By moving the table down, the patient would find it easier to get on. Once you have your patient on the table, bring the table up. Again, hit release and bring the table up and you can do it in a slow or a fast motion. Now we're ready to move the patient to the x-ray area. Unlock the table. With the handles, move the table over the image receptor. Once you are over the image receptor, lock your table. For safety purposes, assure that it is locked. Now, you can bring the table down a little bit lower. There is a space between the image receptor and the table. However, be very careful as the table does not have any sense of how close it is and you could cause damage. So always leave yourself enough space so that there is possibility for movement. This tabletop also will free float. At the bottom of the table there is a bar and when you step on it, it allows the table to go from side to side and end to end. It is limited movement, so you will, or may need to, adjust the placement of your table by unlocking and move the table from one end or the other if you've not allowed yourself enough movement. To take the table out, always make sure the table is high enough. Unlock. The table lock, move the table away, and store properly.